Hey everyone, this is Mary Ann and I'm back with another video because I wanted to share with you an idea that I have and I am currently trying it out on my daily pages. I'm using this Franklin Covey with 1.75 inch rings and um, it's working out so well for me actually since the very first day that I moved into this binder everything has been getting better and better and um, um, almost nothing ever falls through the cracks again like the way it used to be when I was in a different system like the Midori Traveler's Notebook which I used to use as an organizer before and which reminds me I will do a video on that eventually as soon as I find the old photos that I have of it but now I'm here and it's working out so well and every little tweak I make um, some of them get implemented and some of them get discarded because they don't work but every time I decide to implement something it actually makes the whole system better so here's another thing that I'm experimenting with right now I'm not yet sure if it will work out but I'm giving it a chance so here is my section for the daily pages as you know I'm using the two pages per day <clears throat> Uh, in the personal size, I use two pages per day. On the left, I have the chronodex, and on the right, I have everything else, including the monitoring boxes. For this one, I tried out this these boxes first. This one is for the things that I spent for. This one is for notes about my son and his uh, his ex activities. This is for the routines that I am still trying to work with. This, is, this box is where I can note down what I have been feeling for the day and what medications I took because I am dealing with a mood disorder and um, uh, panic attacks, things like that. So this, this box is for notes on that. And this one is to monitor my water intake because I'm very bad at drinking water and that's important. It's important to drink water, so put that on here. And it's working but I found out that there are other things that I also need to monitor that can benefit from these boxes as well and I've already printed them out in my 2014 pages I have printed out the first four months of 2014 and I've already shown that to you guys but here they are again these are the pages <laughs> let's look for something that's completely blank there it's a different, a slightly different design, but it's still the same format. Chronodex on the left, monitoring boxes on the right, and as you can see, I have added three more boxes. Because this one turns out to be too small for medication and emotions. So, this one is going to be for emotions, this one is going to be for medication. And this one is going to be for the notes about my husband because I'm his first go-to person whenever he asks me things like, Hey, when did I have that meeting with a disaster group? Or, um, last month I had a meeting with um, someone, what was his name again? So, um, I put that detail down on here. He has that log in his office, but when he's with me I'm the first person he asks so I put that on there and this one is to monitor to, to remind me of the prayers that I must do for the day because I'm a Roman Catholic and we have devotions and um, the benefit of this is I'll show you the difference every Wednesday I have a novena and without the box I just put them on here so it's here, day 8 of the Novena to Perpetual Help. And now, without the box, it's just on there and it does not have any distinction from the rest. Um, it, it's just like any other task. But it's just not like any other task because it's, and it's not just a routine, it's a devotional. And that's important, so I dedicated a box to it. So these are the boxes that I will be going to in 2014. However, <laughs> as I work with this kind of system, I realize, I have observed that even that is not enough. This is okay, but there are some days in which I will be needing an additional box. They're not regular routines, but 
they are important enough and I just wondered if they could benefit from having a box all to themselves so I I came up with this this box is for Etsy this is the Etsy logo because I have a day job I cannot do things every I cannot do things for my Etsy store every day I have to schedule them um, I do uh, all I do most of the, the design work and the printing after office hours at home or during the weekends because I have a day job and so right now Etsy tasks are listed on here so they're just like any other regular task but I wanted to give them distinction because there are deadlines there are shipping dates and um, well it's important to me so I just thought to see how um, how it would work if I dedicate a box to it this one this box is for um, this is the oblation statue this is the trademark of my university and I'm going to go back to university to study for my second master's in November and that's going to take um, a lot of my attention and energy as well so that definitely needs a box but not every day because my class is not every day and my deadlines are not every day they're just every week at the most and I don't know yet what day of the week it's going to be so I, I came up with these sheets and I just cut them out and I will just paste them when I need them now I also for good measure I also came up with this because my husband and I watch a lot of TV shows reruns at home and a lot of movies at home because we have a lot of DVDs right now we're watching Cheers but when that's over I think we are going to start watching I don't know Game of Thrones or something so we only do that on the weekend so this does not have to be every day but um, sometimes uh, during the week in the middle of the week we watch an episode of this an episode of that or sometimes we have time we watch an entire movie just at home so um, I thought um, what if I came up with these boxes as well and paste them on the day that I need them I already tried that over the weekend here we had to go back to the office for him he was the one who had problems in the office I just tagged along so that's there and then we watched these TV shows and we watched this movie and then on Sunday we watched this movie and watched these TV shows I don't know um maybe it's too much boxes already that's why I did not finalize them yet I'm still experimenting with them there and um, I will have time to work through this the, the boxes I will have time to live with them until maybe the end of the end of um, maybe until the end of February because at the end of February I have to start making my calendar pages for May until uh, July or something so I will have time but for now that's what I'm experimenting with and I just wanted to share it with you guys if you if if you don't have if you're not like me if you don't have the luxury of designing and printing and cutting your own planner pages like this this is something that you can try out you can actually design little stickers for yourself have them printed and cut them out and just paste them wherever they are appropriate which will serve to highlight an important detail of your day to highlight a routine or to highlight something that you have to monitor for the time being like for example if you are on medication for like a week or something then you can have boxes for that week only so that um, you can um, check if you're missing out on medication or if you're able to follow your medication schedule properly and um, you can report to your doctor that you have been religious in following his advice on the medication that you have to take you know things like that um, if you're like me and <laughs> you have a lot to deal with every day um, then that can help 
keep you on top of things so that nothing falls into the cracks now this is not yet final I'm still working on this like I've mentioned before but um, I'll see how it goes and then I'll let you guys know so that's just it I just wanted to share this idea with you guys so thank you for watching until next time bye